my very last shot, I left a 10 pin and I didn't even try. I just, I whiffed it. I was like, it's enough. Yep. <laughs> get, get us the trophy. Then you won, and I'm probably going to phrase this wrong, but the Master of Sports in bowling, which sounds like it is a national accreditation in Russia for individual sports. Talk to me, what does that kind of mean? Because to somebody who's lived in central Wisconsin his whole life, that is literally a very foreign thing to me. <laughs> so I there's no really no direct explanation to it because you guys don't have something like that here yeah. but if you were to think about ranks like in the army and the forces mm-hmm. you know how like you like you become a soldier and then you have to work your way up like mm-hmm. over the years and your achievements mm-hmm. it's kind of the same way in, in russia but it's for all the sports even the team sports okay okay so what is the process of working your way up in bowling when you don't have any young youth bowlers that bowl competitively? Is it is it just like, hey, you went and bowled with all these other adults and you held your own and we're going to move you up a rank? Or how did that kind of go? So when I was just starting, it was by the average. So you would go to something something like team trials you have here, but like Russian championship. Mm-hmm. And you'll have to average, have a certain average for however many games you would bowl to earn a certain rank. Mm-hmm. And some of, some of the ranks you would have to keep earning year after year. Like you would have to like confirm that you're still good enough to be ranked that. And mm-hmm. the master of sports is kind of like a title already. Okay. But like you don't have to confirm that one. And usually you get the master of sports. Um, and then there's international master of sports, and then there's one more. Um, I got mine for uh, placing uh, in the European Youth Championships. Mm-hmm. I think that year I got like a bunch of different medals, so they were like, oh, "Okay, you, you get the title now." And mm-hmm. to get a higher title, you have to do it at Worlds, and in an even higher title, you have to do it at the Olympic Games. So it kind of averaging. At a local tournament to national tournaments to European to world to Olympics. So, did they have anything to say when you struck to become an NCAA champion? That seems like uh, it would qualify. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I really wish, but no. That's that's <laughs> unfortunate because that's probably. I I mean, you've won so many things. There's probably a lot of moments that come up in thinking about like the coolest winning moments of your career thus far, but that's gotta be top three at least. The winning the national championship with Vanderbilt? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I I always tell people that uh it was the best 10 pin I ever missed to win <laughs> something. Because <laughs> my very my very last shot, I left a 10 pin and I didn't even try. I just, I whiffed it. I was like, it's enough. Yep. <laughs> get, get us the trophy. <laughs>